Welcome pen pals. I hope you're ready to see our latest, most exciting artist collaboration yet. In this video, we will unbox, fill up, and write with the Narwhal Peter Draws fountain pen. Peter Draws is the YouTube channel of the artist, illustrator, author, and all-around fun guy, Peter Deligdish. His channel is approaching 1 million subscribers and the coveted gold play button. On many of his videos, you'll see him reviewing and using fountain pens to create abstract line art. So for anybody who's watched one of his videos, you know that Peter is a unique person with eclectic taste. We thought who better to design a special one-of-a-kind fountain pen. So we played matchmaker and hooked him up with Frank from Narwhal Pens to design the Peter Pen exclusive. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the Peter Pen is the first fountain pen designed in collaboration with a YouTube celebrity. If I am wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Upon receiving the Peter Pen, you'll notice the custom artwork on the white Apple-esque packaging. And for anyone who's watched his videos or bought his books, you'll recognize his line art all over the top of the box. Slide open the two-part box to reveal the user guide and warranty pamphlet, the pen, and the metal piston wrench. The pen and wrench are nestled in the white foam bedding. For his exclusive pen, Peter selected a clear acrylic with a smoky black whorl. The random patterns of swirling lines are unique to each pen and embody Peter's line art. The parts are polished with a crystal clear transparency through the cap and barrel of the pen. A chrome barrel ring, tension fix clip, trim ring, and piston assembly complement the demonstrator design. The Narwhal original, and that's this design right here, has a rounded cylindrical profile with tapered ends. It is generously sized with an ample feel in hand. Despite its acrylic body construction, the pen's weight is substantial compared to other all resin pens. Here's the Narwhal original fountain pen compared to a Visconti Homo sapiens and a Platinum 3776 Century. The acrylic section screw threads are set 20 millimeters from the start of the nib and are not intrusive or uncomfortable to grip if you hold your pen farther back. The number six size stainless steel nib is made in-house by Narwhal. It has a filigree design stamped on the metal surface with the Narwhal emblem below the breather hole. At this time, Narwhal fountain pens are available in fine or medium point sizes. If you have other number six size nibs from Bach or Yovo, you can swap them with this nib. To watch ink slosh around the transparent barrel, the Narwhal original uses a piston fill mechanism to hold a high volume of ink. The Peter Pen features a chrome-plated brass piston assembly to enhance the durability and quality of the filling experience. Using the included metal wrench, the piston mechanism can be removed from the pen to thoroughly clean the pen. Despite the fact that the cap can be posted on the back, the Peter Pen has a better balance when unposted. The ample size and weight feels comfortable for average or larger sized hands. So for our writing sample, we're going to fill the Peter Pen with Platinum Carbon Black ink. This is a great ink to use if you are an illustrator, artist, or a street sketcher, whatever that you do when it comes to drawing, because this is pigmented ink that will then become waterproof once it dries on paper. What's the big deal with that? Well, then you could go in when you're done with your line art to then apply colorful watercolor washes or paint over with markers or use fountain pen ink then to color in your artwork. So we're going to then fill up this piston fill demonstrator with this ink. And platinum carbon black ink is one of the most uh, popular waterproof inks that we sell. Um, it has an inner reservoir uh, that you can see some instructions on how to use it here. So when I just opened it up, I just realized it had the reservoir inside. So what you have to do is you have to turn it upside down and kind of jiggle it a little bit so it fills that inner reservoir with ink. We're going to take the cap off the narwhal. I'm going to advance the piston mechanism all the way to the front by turning counterclockwise. And then we're going to insert the nib into the ink so it's fully submerged and then draw up the piston mechanism 
and see we got about a half a tank full of ink on the first fill here and we could go for a little bit more i could force the air out by then turning it upside down and then uh forcing the piston up and then drawing it back up again but for purposes of this review and for the unboxing and writing sample, I'm just gonna leave it half filled. You could do that, it's totally fine. And then of course you blot out the excess ink on the nib. The line width of the Narwhal Fine Point is very controlled and a little bit on the drier side, which is ideal for people who need to have their ink dry a bit quicker. So we're talking left-handed people or artists and sketchers that are drawing on multiple places of the paper and need to have the ink dry so that they could put their hand over the top of it. Uh, since I'm using a a waterproof ink like a Platinum Carbon Black or Noodler's Bulletproof Black. Uh, you don't really have to worry about, let's say, hand sweat or whatnot because then uh, it's not going to really uh, smudge the writing uh, because it's waterproof. The nib has a smooth feel with a slight hint of feedback. And I say slight, even probably less than you would normally expect from, let's say, a Yovo fine nib or even a Bach. Even Bachs are pretty smooth to begin with, but this being a in-house nib that Narwhal produces, they were able to kind of, I think, marry both the exactness of the line that you would find with a Yovo fine point and also a little bit of that smoothness that you would see with Bach and kind of marry the two together in like a really nice smooth fine point nib. Um, you could also squeeze a small bit of line variation so it's not like the stainless steel nib is not a complete nail. It does have a little bit of give on it although I would not call it flexible in any sense of the word um, but it does give you just a bit more line variation than would be your run-of-the-mill fine point nib. Reverse writing is possible when you flip over the nib and write with the feet up towards the sky and it actually produces a very, very fine dry line um, that you would then be able to use as like a needle point almost. It's very, very exact. I can see people who enjoy extra fine nibs also liking this nib in the fine point because it does provide a very controlled line um, that borders a little bit on extra fine, especially if you're looking at the German or European style extra fine. This is more in that category. If you do need to see a bit more of your ink on the paper, uh, you want to show that shimmer or shading of the, of the ink on paper, I would opt to go with the medium point size, which will of course give you a thicker uh, line, but also a smoother line as well. So um, that will enhance the smoothness of the writing experience. As a fan and subscriber of the Peter Draws channel, who enjoys fountain pens, it's a joy to see this collaboration take shape. The pen is a well-executed representation of his artwork, which then offers you the ability to create your art. Whether you write poetry, illustrate comics, doodle, or journal, this pen will be a fine creative companion. It is also a highly collectible piece of merch to commemorate Peter's upcoming 1 million subscriber milestone. You can purchase the Peter Pen exclusively at goldspot.com for $55. Since this fountain pen uses bottled ink only, we'd suggest getting a bottle of ink to go along with this pen. If you are an artist or illustrator, purchasing a waterproof ink like Platinum Carbon Black or Noodler's Bulletproof Black will allow you to draw, then use a watercolor wash without smearing the lines. With a little knowledge, you can take the Narwhal writing experience to the next level. See how to swap a Narwhal nib with another number six nib in this video here. Then, when your pen needs a spotless cleaning, follow a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to disassemble the Narwhal piston mechanism here. Hit the subscribe button to follow Goldspot Pens for more fine writing videos, unboxings, and news from the pen community. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.